Matrix Lord 2 and 2. Hello, everybody. Say hi, Sharon. Hi. All right. So, I just saw Wonder Woman 1984. I did not see it. She didn't see it. I, I saw it. Here's the thing. I don't know why everybody hated it. I loved it. I thought it was great. Not every movie has to be like Avengers Endgame, where you have to have battle, 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 battle. Okay? This had a story. It was interesting. Okay? I enjoyed it. I don't want to see a battle every five minutes. I enjoyed that there was story behind it. And it's true. Like, the love of her life died. Okay? No one was ever able to replace that love. It makes sense that she's decades and decades and decades while living her life and helping others. That's the one thing she wants that she can have. It makes sense. It's real. Okay? We lose somebody sometimes and we miss that person forever. And we can never get that person back. Okay? So, it's real. Okay? I didn't see any of this garbage that people were saying about how this is anti-Trump and this is this. And Trump wasn't even, like, president then. I, like, and all the stuff about women, women, women. I didn't see any of that. I didn't see any of the garbage that people were talking about. All I saw was Diana Prince trying to be a good person. She's, you know, she's human. You know, even though she's Amazonian, she's still human. And she wants the love of her life back. She makes a wish on the thing. He comes back, you know, and she wants to save everybody. But she doesn't want to give him back. She's like, I don't give a shit. I'm not giving him back. The world's falling apart. She still doesn't want to give him back. He has to tell her, hey, you have to renounce your wish. Because you wouldn't, like, like that's it, man. You have to face reality. Like, that's it. And then she renounced her wish. Okay? And she got her full powers back. So the whole point is that, you know, it's real. As real could be. You have a superhero that lost someone. They want them back. And then they're trying to find ways around keeping that person and saving the world. And she couldn't. Okay? And it took her boyfriend to snap her back to reality and say, hey, we had the best life we had. You know, he's long gone. That's it. It's over. And just, you know, you have to save the world. You have to reverse all of this. Okay? And that's it. Now, maybe the ending was kind of like cheesy where like okay you know everybody has to take their wish back and the world is saved and it's like that's kind of like unbelievable that every single person in the world would want to reverse their wish to save the world there might be some selfish people out there so the fact that every single human in existence reversed a wish which i kind of don't think that's the case because i think that you know cheetah still has her powers but anyway um I don't believe that, but okay, that was that was a little cheesy. I get it. But overall, with a heartwarming story, the bad guy, you know, loved his child, okay? Even though he was a dick, even though he was an asshole, he was trying to make the world better for his kid. They showed when he was growing up, his, his dad beat his mother, his dad beat him, he was made fun of, he had... The, the crappiest clothes, and he sought to become rich, so he, he would never be that person again, like being made fun of and everything, which this is reality, this is life, this happens, okay, this is why I felt this was a great story, because this was not fake, this is real, that does happen to people, where they, they you know, that could happen, where their dad or their mom, like, beat them or whatever, and they, they had, don't have the finest things in life, and they're made fun of, and they're bullied, and then they grow up, and maybe they may be an asshole, or maybe a half asshole, okay, so, like, ultimately, he loves his child, even though he's a dick, and his kid loves him, he doesn't, he doesn't have to be the richest person in the world, just like an innocent kid would say to their dad, I love you, dad, like, you don't have to be that, you're my dad, like, you know, I got that, like, but, like, I don't understand why people just didn't get that, Okay, it was a heartwarming story. It was filled with love. And we didn't need to see a superhero movie where everybody's beating the shit out of each other. And then the, the hero beats the shit out of the villain and they win. This was a, a thing where 
The guy realized he fucked up. He destroyed the world. His kid was about to die. He renounced his wish, which means that everything got reversed. So that's it. That's fine. I liked it. I loved it. Linda Carter appearing. That was great that she was the legendary warrior Asteria or whatever. And that she still is alive on Earth and saving people here and there. You know, and she gave a wink. Kudos that she's Wonder Woman. Okay, so like that that's the whole thing. Like this was a wonderful one. Gail Gadot knocked it out of the park. Okay, Kristen Wiig was absolutely stunning and fantastic. You know, Chris Pine was awesome. Everything about this movie was great. It was very long, not going to lie, but I see why it was long, because they wanted to spend time with the, you know, Trevor and Diana, you know, Steve Trevor and Diana relationship and him coming back in the 80s. And it was funny. I got it. I loved it. Not every movie is going to be like that. The next Wonder Woman movie might be a villain. They have, she has to beat the shit out of whatever. I get it. I accept it. And you know what? Not for nothing, but what happened today, okay? Obviously, everybody, and I'm, here's the thing. You can like it and you can not like it, okay? But the difference between liking it and not liking it is there's another category where some people hate it. And not only do they hate it, but they try to spread hatred towards the franchise because they don't want to be forgiven. They don't want another Wonder Woman movie. They don't want to give it a goddamn fucking chance. And they just like, no more Wonder Woman. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right? <laughs> we don't always get what we want. God knows Superman 3 and Superman 4 and Superman 4 trying to get rid of nuclear weapons. That shit was horrendous. But eventually, we got good Superman movies again, okay? So, like, shut the fuck up, because today they announced that regardless of whether you fucking like it or not, Warner Brothers announced that it was a complete fucking success. They're throwing fucking another $300 million towards the next Wonder Woman. Patty Jenkins returns, Gail Gadot returns. There you fucking go. Sealed, delivered, done, Okay. You don't need to fucking make 20 videos about how it didn't make my eight fucking... According to them, it's a fucking success. They're ready to go. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't matter what the fuck you say. So, you know what? Every movie has to be different. Hopefully, the next movie, we get a little, little more action. Okay. But I don't want to lose the story. I mean, I don't want it to be like fucking punch fest and then make no fucking sense. So, ultimately, I loved... Wonder Woman 1984, and I don't give a fuck who doesn't agree with, you know, me or whatever, because I like what the fuck I like, and that's it, and I don't cater to fucking groups, and I don't cater to fucking any group, because I'm my own fucking group, the Real Hovians, and we're watching this, we're going to be doing stuff on it, so there you go, take care, bye for now.